Hey there, friendlies, how's up? Welcome to another episode of my pure, unadulterated online magic. Um, tonight I have something that I've been meaning to bring to you guys for a little while, and that is... Boom, baby. Nika from The Barrel. Um, you know what? Before we go any further, look at this bottle. Just, I mean, have you ever... I, this is probably my favorite whiskey bottle ever. I've had this for about a week and a half, been meaning to bring it to you, and I just, I can't stop, like, picking it up and, or, or just, like, looking at it. Absolutely beautiful. I, and it, it's so minimalist. It's, it's so, it's just, uh, whoever designed this, did a real bang up job this this is like this if this was a car this would be like a classic first year of production jaguar e type kind of thing okay it's ew. it's the lines are clean there's just enough shaping to make it interesting to make it good in the hand i don't even mind the screw top uh <laughs> So I guess I just told you my uh, my design notes. This is a 98 for design. I love this. I I cannot get over this. Let's open it. <laughs> I'm sorry, getting carried away. I've sort of jumped the gun a bit, but I just I I'm so excited about the look of this bottle. If it tastes even half as good as it looks, I love. I don't want to build it up too much and disappoint myself or anything, but. Gonna pour a little bit of whiskey and then we're gonna talk about it. Alright. Am I getting rained on? Put this right here so you guys can see it while I talk. I think this came out in like 1985 or something like that. Uh, this is a blend. Okay, this is not a single malt. Uh, it's a blend of like a hundred different whiskeys, some bourbon barrels, some uh, sherry butts, uh, <clears throat> little peat, little non. As a blend, we got some malt, some grain. Oh, but this does not satisfy the requirements to be called a Japanese whiskey. So even though it's from Japan, it's not technically a Japanese whiskey. Um, now I read that part of the reason for this bottle is to make it like a little block of whiskey. Uh, the idea from the barrel is that apparently it's to give you sort of the sensation of being able to taste direct from the barrel the way the blenders do. I don't know, might be, might be just like marketing biffle, right? Uh, so that being said, let's take a look. The sun is absolutely going down. Um, nice color. I'm not going to consider that a uh, natural color though. Um, I, it doesn't say natural color anywhere. I'll look it up online later, but for now, um, I'm not calling that a natural color. It's a very nice color, but it, it does have an engineered look to it. So I don't know. Uh, well, this is a very engineered whiskey, right? It's a blend of a hundred different malt and grain juices. Um, give it a little swirly swirl. We're okay for tears, not too much, not too little. Let's just give it a little sniff, shall we? Now this is over 54%. I think this is 54.1%. Yeah, so I'm not going to dive right in. I'm going to start by wafting a little. a lot of sweetness happening okay a um, lot of different fruits some some pears some plums some apple maybe a touch of like a green grape bright fruits is there a citrus in there maybe just a touch of a citrus like a lemon peel not as big as the other fruits though there's a lot of different fruit happening in here um, and that would probably be from the sherry butts, uh, but also big caramel, big creamy, uh, butterscotch, uh, uh, creme brulee, um, touch of honey. There's a lot happening in on this nose, and I think there might be just a little touch of peat, but almost like just a a wisp, 
Like if you blow on it, it'll disappear. I'm gonna give that an 85. I gotta taste it. That is not boring. <clears throat> uh, all the different things that I was finding on the nose are definitely there on the palate. But for the arrival, it hits with spice and then immediately gets all this smooth, creamy, caramelly, a big honey, burnt brown sugar kind of. That's where, where I was coming up with the, the, the creme brulee earlier. Big fruits. I find the fruits are a little bigger on the nose. I gotta nose it again now that I've tasted it. Yeah, that fruit note is big. Here's the thing. It's interesting. It's lively. Uh, it's got <clears throat> many things happening. There's all that spice. There's all that sweet goodness. There's all that orchard fruit and dark fruits. Maybe a touch of jam. But overall, it's not it's not savaging me it, it's it's a warm hug it, it's it's a mellow <clears throat> like where, where some whiskey is like that wee beastie is like ah right uh, this is this is a warm biscuit you know it, it's it, it's a blanket in front of a fire um, and i don't mean that in and that is really smoky or peaty there's a touch of that but it, it not enough to really jump out in the front i'm saying that it's a mellow comfortable feel it's really pleasant. Feels good in the mouth. Nice, nice body to it. Uh, I would definitely give this a. Hold on. Let me take one more sip before I decide. 86. Very nice. Finish. It just keeps going. It's, it's there. Warm hug on the tongue. Just whew, keeps on going. Very nice. Now it's a 54.1 percent. I've. Let me give myself a little more. Um, I don't tend to water blends, but I also don't usually have a lot of experience with blends that are over 50%. So I'm going to just give it a touch of water, see what that does. That tones it down actually, but it's not in a bad way. Um, it, it's on the nose, it holds up well to water. It sort of makes everything a little softer, it takes the edges off. Very drinkable with like just a touch of water. That ups the creaminess. Hmm. That's good to know. Oh, and I just got right at the back that faintest hint of like a mint very nice very nice so okay value in Quebec this is I think like 66 bucks okay so that's whatever uh, 13 cents per milliliter so that makes this a $99 bottle if it's full-sized um, Look, for a blend, that's a lot of money. I know Japanese whiskeys are high priced. Uh, the value statement, I find, is a little questionable on Japanese whiskeys. I think it, it's very, very nice. I think it should be a $60 bottle, you know, at, as, at 50 centiliters. I don't know why I said it, at 500 milliliters. Look, it's really nice though, and as I said in my Kilhoman video, whiskey is just going up in price. For value, I would call this a 75. I can't, I can't stop. Like it's just so beautiful. Look at it, guys. Look at that. Whoa! Hold on. We forgot something. We forgot the checklist. So let's do it. Single malt. New. No. It's a blend of like a hundred different uh, malt and grain whiskeys some Japanese, some non. Uh, do we have an age statement? No. 
Do we have more than 45% alcohol by volume? Yes, we do. We're at 54.1. So there's a win. And I looked it up on whiskeyworld.de and it is chill filtered and does have caramel coloring. So as far as the checklist goes, doesn't look great. Now let's get back to it. So that's all she wrote. Thanks for hanging out with me for this little review. Um, if you like what I'm doing here, then please do the following three things. One, comment down below. Have you had this and do you like it? Do you think it's worth uh, the money it costs in your area? Um, second, please share this video. That helps me more than you could possibly imagine. And three, leave me a smiley thumb. If you don't like what I'm doing, that's all right. Leave me a frowny thumb. Thanks for watching, guys.